once again, our focus today is all about shaping up your life in 2008, and that includes your finances. Our financial expert today has eight simple tips for 2008, so please get ready to take some notes. Please welcome Sanyika Calloway Bryce. Boys. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> Boys. Hello, welcome darling. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello. So are you going to make us rich for 2008? I'm going to work on it. Well, the first thing we have to do, though, is tell our money story, because it's not for lack of practical knowledge that we don't do what we need to do financially. And there are three quick steps to do that. First, you have to review where you've come from. It's sort of like a GPS system. So before we even principles. begin, we, we start telling our you money story. To. You have to, because you have to know where you're starting from. Mm -hmm. You can't say, hey, I want to get to this place without knowing where you're starting from. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like a GPS. Got it. And then you have to release those parts that just don't fit. They don't work anymore mm -hmm. for who you say you want to be in this year and then finally you have to rewrite a story that makes sense for you it's like okay this is who I say I want to be so these are the steps that I have to take in order to get there that makes sense it's so like you're, you're basically designing a road map you are you, you know are. you don't get into the car and not know where you're going you've right, got to figure right. out where you're going and how you're going to get there yes and absolutely. there will be clues in your money story as to, w to the steps you need to take as you're moving forward yes and the things that you need to release and leave behind it's mm -hmm. just this doesn't work for me anymore to have this habit or this practice it doesn't fit with who I say I want to be, so I have to leave that behind and rewrite well, something that's more consistent. You were saying backstage, you had the $400 coach purse yes. with 80 cents in it. <laughs> exactly. You know, so I look fit. good, I smell good, I was totally broke. Right. So, and you that's know, so much of us now. It is. Because we have to keep up with the Joneses or keep up with Hollywood. There's so much attention to that. And how do you save and still look cute? Well, it, it first really looks at... If that's important to you. If that's important right. to you. Well, first you have to decide, whose mountain am I climbing? I mean, mm. when you think about what is my mission for my life and what does success mean for me, are you basing, on, basing it on someone else's definition of success? Or are you saying this is what success looks like and feels like for me? And so if it's more important for you not to have the creditors calling you, mm -hmm. or it's more it's important for you to thing. have... Mm -hmm. That's always a good thing. Or to have that that great looking coach bag. All right, so once we write the story, where do we go? The next thing you have to do is clean up those money messes. Okay, so this, the reality is, most people's bills kind of look like this. You leave your stuff in a corner, in a box somewhere. You don't want to address it. You don't want to deal with it. Well, you cannot. You cannot move forward unless you begin to clean up some of those messes. Kim Cole's $400 dinner. <laughs> That's not my... <laughs> I, took you, I took you to dinner. You hush. No. <laughs> so that, that looks like everything from organizing your receipts, knowing where you're spending your money, mm, canceling any memberships that you know that you haven't been to the gym mm -hmm. or you haven't done those things in a while, shredding any papers that have just been there for way too long, getting those out of the way, cleaning up those messes, because once you free yourself from the visual clutter, you actually free your mind to move forward in a way that makes more sense for you. All right, good. And you also, I, I was tell, telling you backstage that I'm penny wise and pound foolish, so I'll have a 50 cent coupon on some uh, uh, you know, toothpaste, but I want the $400 shoes, you know, too. Right. So how do you... Uh, well, have, well, first of all, you have to figure out, okay, what's, I have to create a spending plan. I say budgets suck, but spending plans are smart. You need to tell your money where to go instead mm. of wondering where it well, what's, what's the difference between a budget and a spending plan? Well, a budget basically means for most people it's restriction. It's I can't do this. I need to leave this alone. I can only have a certain amount. But a spending plan really is redefining that word budget. I'm telling my money where I want it to go. So these are the things that I know I need to have as part of my regular spending. Mm -hmm. And now I can begin to redirect where I want that money to Got go. It. I think b budget stands for baby, you deserve to get everything. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me that once. <laughs> so we definitely need to put you on yeah, the We need to talk. We need to talk. All right, so what's the next step? So the next thing you want to do is get your credit report. You're entitled to one complimentary copy of your credit report mm -hmm. every calendar year. The only place that you can get a truly no strings attached credit report is annualcreditreport.com. Okay. You want to get one from each of the credit bureaus. You need to know what it says about you because it speaks volumes to how much you pay for car insurance. Mm -hmm. How, whether you get a job, whether you possibly even get promoted for a job, so everything is tied mm. to what that credit history is all about. Right. You need to know what it says about you. Don't be afraid of it. Get that So once, copy. once we find the credit report, then where do we go? Next thing, I definitely want to, if you haven't started the saving habit, you have to exercise that muscle. Now, I love the keep the change method because it really helps people who haven't began to, to say, I want to commit to saving. Don't believe that you're going to wait until you get your bonus or until you get your income tax check to save. Mm -hmm. Very few cars and even fewer people can go from zero to 60. Right. So you have so to you, start small. keep the change then? Keep the change basically means when you come home from, the, from your day, you dump your change. You get a jar that you can't reach your hand in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's key. Yeah, that's key. And use change. 
I recommend just change. Don't even try to put dollars in it because you're going to go in there and reach them out. Mm -hmm. But put your change in there at the end of the day. Start your each day change free. Mm. After, say, 30 days, go to that coin machine, mm -hmm. dump it in and see how much you have and start there because you didn't, you weren't planning on that money anyway. So begin to start That's there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Anything that you can do automatically. A couple of banks mm -hmm. also have automatic keep the change type programs. Mm -hmm. Sign up for them if you can. Mm -hmm. Say if you're spending $13.50. They round it up, and then that change That's goes awesome. in there. So you want to start small with that. You also have uh, ideas about saving on cups of coffee. We yes. Spent so the five dollar factor. What happens a lot of times is anything that we spend that's less than five dollars, it goes under the radar. It's yeah. no big deal. Yes. In one year, I spent one thousand four hundred ninety-six dollars and thirty-two cents on coffee. Starbucks, man. Those it was things. my treat. I, you know, I didn't have two nickels to rub together, but it was like, you know what? This is my pick me up. This is my treat. Four dollar latte. Yes, yeah. three dollars and seventy eight cents a day. It adds up. So if you know that you're a coffee drinker, or if you like to buy lotto tickets, or those little bags of chips from the vending machine, mm -hmm. you really need to know where your money is going because those five dollar factor well, really does put a hold. And keep in it off the credit cards. I know you talk about that because yes. a lot of people they'll, they'll charge those Starbucks coffees oh, on the credit card. And then you get well, that four dollar that four dollar latte turned into twenty dollar latte. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it does that doesn't make sense at all. And then, you know, the next thing in terms of how can you straighten up your finances and get things straight is really looking at ways to invest in yourself. You cannot think about doing this alone. You really do need somebody. I love what the, the person who's doing the whole community who's losing weight. Mm -hmm. We really need to look at whether it's books or wealth building CDs or anything that we can figure out. How can I invest in my success and how can I find out how someone else did it and then do it for myself as well? Well, this is wonderful. Thank I you know, so much for coming thank you out. For really having appreciate me. it. I feel fiscally fit. I do. I, I do. It's going to be a good 2008. It right? is going to so. be a good Absolutely. 2008. Well, everyone at home, you can take a look at these tips and find out much more about how you can get your finances in order today just by going to our website at iVillage.com and clicking on In the Loop. Coming up after the show, Kim will be in our chat rooms to answer all your questions. We're coming right back.